Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you this 8-wick kerosene burner stove. Alright, so this really isn't a product review. This is more of a, look, I bought something cool I've always wanted to buy. Because I think these stoves are cool the way they work. Um, it was very inexpensive. 18 bucks free shipping. Of course, it's made in... Hold on. Wait for it. China. Oh, yes. But it works great, and I really like it. Um, the brand name on it is Winter Eco. E-C-O. And I'll put all that information and a link to it in the bottom. Um, I just, I've always thought these stoves operated in a very cool manner. They kind of have a little bit of a catalytic converter in the middle that burns. and It's just a neat system. So I'm going to take it apart and show you how you put it together because this isn't how it comes. First thing you're going to do, is all this will come off. And you'll notice here, whoops, there. You'll notice there are eight wicks in the middle, okay? Now, one thing I'm going to do here on camera is make them even. Because I found that when they're not even, the burn can be really, really, I mean the slightest little bit of unevenness in these wicks can be funky. And you get a hot spot on one side of the stove and not the other. So they're about even now. Um, basically it works like this. You've got all these wicks sitting in uh, kerosene on the bottom. They soak up and come up through there. I don't have much kerosene in here. I'm probably going to fill it up a little bit for the video. Um, this is a little cap. This cap has a long thing, a long little piece of metal and a uh, little bit of wick on it because that is for when you put all this stuff back on going down in there and lighting your wicks. And we'll demonstrate that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up. They give you a little thing to fill it up. Personally, I just take that off and dump it in the middle uh, with some kerosene. And another warning they give you is only use kerosene. Don't try to use unleaded gas or anything else. Not good. It's not exactly very strong metal. You know, it's kind of thin sheet metal. I don't think it's going to hold up to a lot of pressure, so you don't want to use anything but kerosene. So what I'm going to do I'm going to fill it up, and we're going to put it all together, and I'm going to light it for you, and we're going to do a boil test on it. So I will be right back when I'm done with that. All right, so I put the kerosene in, drop this in, and as I said, you want to make sure your wicks are even, because one, just the slightest bit higher than the other will make an amazing flame up in one area of the stove. Now, none of this stuff fits or screws in. It's basically a pressure fit system. So again, I wouldn't recommend this for backpacking or a bug out bag, of course, or this is more for a base camp or a bug out location. If you already have a place, you know, and you don't have utilities there, and you want something like this, you could buy two of these and use them as, you know, your, your main cooking area for, you know, 18 bucks each with free shipping. I can't beat that, you know. It's a cheap alternative. And again, this doesn't have a, uh, a screw down either. So Now, one of the things you want to be careful with is you want to make sure when you're putting these little inner and outer liners in, you don't get your um, wicks caught in them. Because you can turn your wicks up and down with this and you don't want them stuck underneath. So what, does I do is, what I do is I fully extend them up. Notice how I did that there. And I put this on. Now these will take a little bit of fitting. Again, it's cheap. You know, it's a cheap thing. Um, you know, they won't come perfectly round. You'll have to kind of straighten them out a little bit. This goes on the outer ring. So now that I know those are good, I pull it down and I slip this on the outer ring and I try to make sure that I don't have any of the wicks in that. Yep, they're all clear. Okay. Now that we've got the inner and outer ring, we have this cover that goes over it like that. Pretty simple. Okay. I'm trying to get it kind of even there. And again, you know, it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> this stuff is just slapped together sheet metal. Now, what we're going to do, I won't put the top on, we're going to take this guy here and light it. And just kind of wipe it around the inside there. I don't know if it stayed lit. It didn't. Okay. Wipe it around the inside. There. It is lighting now. For a first burn, I would recommend you set this up outside, and that was fully out, although I probably shouldn't have put it in that soon. 
And for a first burn, I'd recommend you set this up outside. Because um, you got a lot of stuff in here. Who knows what they cover it with. I'm really well ventilated here in my garage. I have the door open to this side over here. And uh, everything's pretty well ventilated. I have a little bit of an issue here that's annoying me because it's not straight. So what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to straighten it out. got it in. And I went around the outside, got it lit. This is nice and off now. Not burning. So I'm just going to let it burn a little bit like that. And like I said before, you want this outside on its first burn. I don't know if you can see the flame, but it's definitely burning. Um, you want it to be a blue flame, so I'm kind of letting this burn in. This is the first time I've used it. Or the first time I'm going to be using it for real. The interesting thing about this is once this gets burned in and works pretty well, you'll get little dots of blue flame in that inside um, carburetor, that inside little ring that I put on there that wasn't on there straight before. Um, it's, it's almost like a, the inverse of a rocket stove. I mean, all those little blue jets are burning in there. So, we're going to put this on here. Let me give you a little bit of info on it. They say it's got a, continue, a continuous combustion duration of 6.5 hours, and that's using 5 ounces of um, your kerosene. Average boil time is 5 to 7 minutes. We'll find that out once this uh, burns in a little bit. Uh, it's basically three th th constructed of sheet metal. I mean, it's not something, again, it's not heavy duty. It's not something I take out, you know, on my Appalachian hike on the trail or something. It's definitely a, a smaller, a, a lighter item, and it's something good for a base camp or your backyard, okay? It's got, the catalytic is three separate pieces. The inner piece just needs to be pushed on that round like I showed you. My mistake was the outer round wasn't perfectly formed, so I, didn't, I just let rested it on there and didn't push it all the way down into the outer groove. And as you can tell, once you get that going, it's going great, okay? As I said, it's important for the wicks to be even. I, liked, I actually wrote that in my notes to remember that. And they say to turn it off. You want to um, turn all the wicks all the way down and let it go out on its own because that will preserve your wicks. I want to turn down the, there. Okay. It's definitely still burning. Now what I want to do is hit the lights here. Let you see if you can see the, the blue flame inside. See the blue little, all those little jets coming in? Let's put this back down again. And that's about it for the stove. I mean, you know, it's not a fancy, complicated stove. I've just always been fascinated by these stoves, and they're kind of unusual, and I didn't want to spend a fortune on one, so I figured cheap Chinese copy, hey, works for me. So what we're going to do when I come back is we're going to put some water on. We're going to do two cups. And we're going to time it and see how long it takes to boil. All right. Got out the pot. Got two cups of water. And I will put the results of the four cups down in the information below. Now you're getting a nice blue flame on the bottom there. And uh, we're going to see how long this takes. I've got to go over there and get my cell phone. All right. And we will set up a timer. There we go. And I will tell you how long till I get some boiling water. Well, as you can tell, it's about, what, two minutes, 37 seconds. It made pretty quick work of that uh, two cups of water. <laughs> I'm going to put two more cups in because I'm making something else. So about two minutes and, what, two minutes, 40 seconds. Um, not bad, you know. Again, if you're cooking, like, camp food with this or if you're taking this on a trip, you know, car camping or something, Really wouldn't have a problem with it. I'm going to toss some more water in there for my use later. I'm going to give you a little more information, too, because I forgot to mention that it's about 7 inches tall. So this is not a small stove, you know, and it doesn't collapse down or anything. Uh, the base diameter is about 6.5 inches across. And it holds about 1 quart of fuel at a time. So it is kind of handy if you're just going to leave this somewhere... Say, I, I don't know that I'd leave it outdoors because it is thin sheet metal, but if you're going to leave this somewhere as on your, in your base camp, where you're always going to use it, it, keep it pretty full and it'll last. They say it's a 6.5 hour burn time. Okay, I told you that in the beginning with the continuous combustion. Um, I would believe that because when I went to empty this after I tried it the first time when I got it, I mean, I burned it for about 45 minutes, and I mean, I, 
hardly used anything in there. It was it was basically full still. So I believe that. I'm going to check and see how that... Yeah, you're getting a nice blue flame. Get a little of the red on top. But you're getting a nice blue flame underneath. It's a very efficient stove. Um, and again, you know, this isn't really a product review. This is just something kind of cool that uh, I bought that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I will put a link in the description on where you can buy it for the 18 bucks. It's $17.99 with free shipping. Um, and again, it comes with some extra wicks. Where did I put those? There they are. But I mean, you could use mop head. You could use almost anything for this if you really had to. Um, and also, this is kind of a way that, you know, if you run into something like this out in the wild, say, you know, somebody hands you one of these and says, you know, I'll trade you this for that, and you need a stove, now you know how to use it. And you saw I had a little problem setting it up in the beginning. You know, again, this isn't a high dollar item. This is nothing, you know, <laughs> honestly, probably nothing I'd risk my life on. I'd use it in my backyard for videos. I'd use it in my backyard for, you know, say if I'm taking care of people, you know, I have some people here, family, whatever, during an emergency, they want to cook outside, sure, no problem. But I don't know that I would go out of my way to use this, say, in a life or death situation. It's really just kind of a fun, cool item. And it does work pretty well. You know, I'm just kind of concerned about the thinness of the metal and the durability of it. So, that's the review. That's EcoCamp 8-wick um, kerosene burner. I've always thought these were kind of cool. It's kind of a self-indulgent video. I've always wanted to do a video on it. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.